Yo, YouTube, what's happening? You know what time it is. Gino Dragon's back with another toy haul. This time, I got a little surprise. Actually, gonna show off some Hot Wheels, a little Hot Wheels haul from the last like week or so. I never really shown any. I don't think I've shown any off on YouTube before, but I've been back in the Hot Wheels for like, I don't know, like a year and a half. And dude, I have some dope cars and I never really showed them off. I think I've showed them off on like Twitter and Instagram and my Snapchat, but I think I never really showed them off on YouTube. So, but I figured I'd do it now. I got some uh, Hot Wheels, got some Marvel Legends. I'm gonna jump right into the Hot Wheels. So first, actually I'm gonna say that one last. So, I never really buy these car bikes because most of the cars I don't care about. But I'm gonna go with this, this Hot Wheel Exotics pack. Kind of get this all in there. Hopefully everything gets in a the shot there. Primarily for two cars. One, the red uh, Huracan, ah, red Lamborghini Huracan, and then <clears throat> the purple Ashton Martin, which is, yeah, the DBS. So it's actually my first purple Hot Wheel, so that's kind of cool. I like that shade of purple. I like purple, but yeah, that Huracan, I love the Huracan, and the purple DBS is dope. Also at the top, got a Pagani Wyra, and uh, Aventador J. It's basically kind of like a roadster almost. And then, oh, and then we got a Porsche, Porsche Carrera GT. I don't really care for Porsche. I like the body style was terrible. But like I say, it's really more about the Urcon and that DBS. So it's pretty dope. So check that out. How we exotics. And then pop over to some singles. I love these ones. The Renault Sport RSL one. It's actually my fourth one, I think. I'm not even sure, but uh, I always pick up these. I have, okay, so give you a little insight into my Hot Wheels collecting. So I have a ton of Hot Wheels. Most of them are still in the packages because I don't have a space to display them. Only ones I have on display on my bookshelf are, I have doubles of every single one, pretty much. Yeah, I have doubles of every single one, including this next one, which I'll show. But, so I actually have two other, the first two RSO ones, or yeah, Renault RSO ones. It was a. Uh, where are they at? I know I have two of these on display though, but there's at least I have four of these in my collection, four different ones, and then I have doubles of two of them. So that's the Renault, uh, and then this one. Ah, Y'all should have saw my face light up when I saw this. <coughs> I have it in red, but just I mean it looks dope in red. So the 2017. Uh, Chevy Camaro uh, ZL1 and man it's kind of like this cobalt blue like I said I have it in red but when I saw the blue one oh man my face lit up I had to have it it's also part of the Hot Wheels Camaro celebration there's been a few different series and then they had a whole kind of a, a mini set of Camaros and I have a bunch of those as well but this one Man, I love Camaro. I love like the modern Camaros. The like the 2016, maybe 2017 too. And then the ZL1s especially, but in blue. Oh man, I love that. So next up, and jumping to this series has actually been around for a while. And I only had the Lamborghinis in this one, but so get the Forza series. Forza Motorsport, this is actually from Forza Motorsport 6. This is a cover car, the 2017 Ford GT. Blue and white, and on the back there, you kind of pause and take a look at that, five different cars. And I have three of the five, doubles of three of the five. Um, so before, I just had the the Gallardo, had uh, Gallardo there, but then I just recently picked up the GT. So the GT, and then I'm gonna crack one of these open from my shelf, and then, Another the Z01 concept Camaro 2012. It's kind of a uh, it's like red on top, and then black and silver with the Forza logo. So so that's dope. Forza Motorsports. So that's pretty cool. Metal metal real riders. Uh, see, so yeah, this is actually these cars that cost a little more, but I was like. Oof, previous year I said I have I was having a rough week and a little retail therapy some new Hot Wheels I, New Hot Wheels always makes everything better for me honestly I always run Monday catch some new Hot Wheels 
so yeah definitely be cracking up those cracking open those I already opened my other uh woozy on one but cracking up open one each of those forza cards and then the hot wheels exotics so i'm gonna break that uh the ericon that uh dbs out of the package then we're gonna jump over to some marvel legends so this one i actually debated on for a while uh let me just show them so we got some half of the fantastic four visible woman human torch sue and johnny storm mm. They're both Walgreens exclusives. <clears throat> Invisible Woman's been out for a while, and then Human Torch hit. I don't know. I think it's been a, it's been a few weeks at least. It might have been a month, but pretty sure it's been at least a few weeks. I wasn't really checking, but I mean, I like both characters for the most part. Invisible Woman's pretty cool, and I just like the figure itself. I mean, nothing really too standoutish. At least just looking at it from the package, but. I was like, oh, like new, uh, new Marvel Legends and characters I like. Like, why not increase my Marvel Universe collection? And then Human Torch, because kind of similar, uh, sort of translucent figure. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Age of Apocalypse. Uh, Hasbro Toy Shop exclusive from years ago. I love that figure. But, so yeah, I was just kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of debating. I didn't pick her up at first. And I was like, eh. one day I was just kind of went in there. I saw him. And I was like, you know what, screw it. Plus they were on sale too. I think it was like $16.99. I was like, all right, they're on sale too. Like, like screw it, why not? New Marvel Legends. So yeah, they're just uh, standing alone. I'm show you the back there. I think the robot's name, that's Herbie, right? Yeah, stupid, whatever. But now, finally, like these two, I've been waiting for these two for a while now. Oh, especially one of them. But <clears throat> we've seen them before. But they're just back. Blade and Bullseye, two of the baddest in my first in the Marvel Universe. Love it. I've been waiting for man. Like they've been teasing Blade for years. Like Blade is supposed to been out for like five years at least. I don't know, four or five years, and finally got him. Part of the uh, Daredevil Netflix series. So. Uh, you see on the back there, build a figure, uh, man thing. It's all in the back there. It's uh, Daredevil, Daredevil, Punisher, Electra, and then uh, Jessica Jones. Honestly, this should have been, I don't know why Luke Cage wouldn't have been a part of it. They should have just made Luke Cage there. Uh, but then you probably need Iron Fist too. Uh, one thing I really would like is another, like an actual Marvel, like Marvel Comics Electra, like from the comics. Like do that because they definitely need to redo Electra. Um, her first toy biz figure is not; it doesn't look good at all, and it's definitely outdated. They need to update Electra, so get on top of that. But man, Bullseye and Blade finally interchangeable heads. I don't really get that gun that Bullseye comes with. It's kind of weird, and he should have came with a few more. I would rather have seen a few more projectiles and maybe a sniper. They should have given him a sniper rifle. <laughs> There's like a rifle and maybe like a regular rifle, but and he comes with two extra hands and then the right arm for, yeah, right arm for a man thing. <coughs> and then blade comes another head. I like the second head better because of the haircut. And then the katana, which is kind of weird. I don't remember him really using a katana that much. I honestly, this is the first time you'll ever hear this. I would have preferred the blade he uses in the movie. I love that sword. So you definitely should have used that and then he comes with I think that's the right leg, you can't tell. But it comes with leg for a man thing. And then one thing I mentioned here, if you can kind of see, is his character, his figure has uh, half fingered gloves. And I hate half I, I, I legit can't stand them. Aesthetically, they bother the hell out of me. Um, so I would definitely be painting over those and he will magically have full fingered gloves. And yeah, so Bullseye, this uh this interchangeable head does have the bullseye logo and the hand you can kind of see it there i think that i don't think that like the <coughs> like the throwing effect there comes off the hand so you can't just have like the open hand it looks like it's actually like really on there so but that's kind of cool because i like kunai so that's a little 
the throwing knives there, the kunai. That's pretty dope. Uh, I wish there was a way to actually just have those. But yeah, Blade and Bullseye. I'm telling you, I've been waiting for so long for those. Kind of check out the side art there. Maybe to show it off for even torching, invisible warning. Check that out there. I like the orange too. But yeah, um, I'm excited to finally have these. I do have my other Bullseye, but so I will, uh, when I do crack this open, I will definitely probably do a review so I can do a comparison of both figures, even though I'm pretty sure by now everybody else has done them too. And also really like how since they're not part of the Netflix series, they get like everything is really personalized on the packaging there. So like actually they get fully named and everything on there. So that's dope. I would like to see that more, but I think they really do that a lot, especially when they add figures to certain waves that aren't actually thematically connected. So that works. Who's on Blade? Man, new Hot Wheels, baby. Just gotta show this off again. Blue ZL1. I love this car. Ah, uh, like, like top three Camaros are all blue, just so you know. But yeah, that's my latest toy haul. Let me say, I have tons of Hot Wheels and I buy them frequently. Um, there's a few more of the cars I'm looking for. There's a new Forza series I'm waiting for, but I just never really showed them off. And I just, I just had these kind of sitting next to each other. Figured I'd show them off with my new Marvel Legends. So yeah, that's that. Let me know what you think. Hope y'all love this toy haul, because I certainly love it. And I just wanted to show it off because I got some dope cars and some cool action figures. So I'm happy, a little retail therapy last week, which I sorely needed. So yeah, let me know what you think, what's going on. What are you picking up? What toys are you looking for? If you're a Hot Wheels collector, let me know in the comments below. Because I actually do want to show off some more of my Hot Wheels. I had anticipated showing off my entire collection before Forza came out, but uh, scheduling, I couldn't get around to it. But if there are more Hot Wheels, other fellow, if, there, if any of my subscribers are fellow Hot Wheels collectors, let me know, because I will definitely add in some Hot Wheels content, like hauls, and just kind of showing off some of my collection. Let me say, just let me know in the comments below, and we can talk Hot Wheels. So yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up in the comments below, Gino the Dragon, saying happy toy on, happy collecting, and I'm out.